What happened after the ending of Dragon Ball Super? What happened after the tournament? What's next for Goku's journey? We never knew those things. And everything was up in the air. But now we know. We just got the newest arc of Dragon Ball Super in the manga. It takes place after the tournament. After Broly has arrived. The Galactic Patrol came to Earth looking for Boo. Which Goku and Vegeta stop them. Then they start explaining why they want Boo. This story takes place 10 million years before the events now. And this is how the story goes. 10 million years ago there was a foe that the gods have fought. This foe is different than all. He has the ability to absorb life forms and destroy planet easily. The life forms that he absorbs become one with him and he gets a lot more powerful. He was fighting the Lord of Lords. He is a kind that we've seen before. And he's beating them. They explain that they can't beat him. Except the Lord of Lords has a technique that would drain his god power. But in exchange it will seal this foe. The one that they're fighting named Moro. He's more like Boo than anything else. Not in looks but the way he fights. The way he absorbs. The Galactic Patrol was seeing this fight. They explain that this Moro has destroyed stars and over 300 planets. So the Lord of Lords uses this technique on him. He seals him but in exchange for almost all of his god power. After that they want to sentence him to death but no one can kill him. So they give him a sentence of life. Fast forward 5 million years, the Lord of Lords is absorbed by Boo and he's gone. And now Moro breaks free of his imprisonment. Now the Galactic Patrol wants Boo to extract the Lord of Lords. Goku and Vegeta hearing this, they tag along and the one that explains all of this is Miros from the Galactic Patrol. Vegeta explains that she's different, he couldn't sense her key or anything and he suspects that she is powerful. On the ship, Goku and Vegeta offer to help them with more and extracting the Lord of Lords of Boo but Boo is asleep he may take days or weeks to wake up so they agree to help them and they're assigned to become one of the Galactic Patrol. Here on out they go on a mission it's not that interesting in my opinion they go on a mission Vegeta wants to see how powerful and how Miros operates and he sees that he sees that she's fast or she hides her full power but she tells him that she isn't and so on but after the mission they get a word that they located Moro and hearing this Goku tries to lock on on his key Goku found Moro but Moro also found Goku he senses that he has searched for him and he smiles here where the chapter ends. This Moro guy is different than what I expected. Not only that he can absorb life forms and make it his own and get more powerful with them and he destroyed hundreds of planets before. Now he's free but the fact that when Goku found him and sensed his key, Moro sensed that and he smiled at Goku when he saw him. That's not something that anyone can do. We never seen Beerus do it. We never seen a lot of characters that can do that. It takes years. It takes a lot of power and a lot of techniques to be able to sense Goku when he wants to use instant transmission. Moro has lived for 10 million years or more. He's not someone to be messed with. He's almost as old as gods of destruction and he can absorb life forms. So how can you beat someone who can absorb life forms to get more powerful? Who can destroy planet in an instant just like a god of destruction it's not something that easy and now that the lord of lords is not here even if he's here he is not even as powerful as he was 10 million years before even the slightest so how can you defeat this foe both goku and vegeta are now powerful but are they this powerful to beat someone that the king of kai's the one that was on top the most powerful of them didn't beat him he just sealed him one that can sense that someone is watching him without the slightest of work someone who can absorb planets in an instant this who Moro is we don't know a lot about this backstory since this is the first chapter in the series that just says that the anime is gonna continue soon it's not gonna be movies we're not gonna make a movie about this Moro guy the anime is gonna continue soon that's what I got from this arc also we got a new foe a foe named Moro someone who is a lot more powerful than any of us has seen someone that I won't say can rival gods of destruction but from the looks of it can somewhat since the more he absorbs the more he gets powerful and if he absorbs a lot he gets a lot more powerful than he is now 
From his looks, he looks a lot menacing. It's not that common for Dragon Ball to give us this scary looking guy. This just hints that he is gonna be a force to be reckoned with. This was Moro, Goku's newest foe. Saying that, I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.